Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to SVB Creative. This is Ashwati. In this video, I'll be showing you all a very simple, easy makeup look using Color Bar products. Obviously, I do not have all the Color Bar products with me, but then whatever I have, I'll be using that in this video. And also, I'll be giving you guys a mini review of all of these Color Bar products. So, um, as you guys know, Color Bar is Indian brand, and it is very easily available uh, online as well as offline stores. So uh, let's get started with the makeup. First of all, I have already applied a lip balm and then uh, I'll be uh, blotting off excess lip balm because it was uh, way too tinted. So that's the reason I just blotted off a little bit. Then I'll be using a cleansing milk and then cleaning my face. This is optional. If you have already cleansed your face with uh, face wash, you need not do this. But I was feeling that my face is little oily. So just to remove that oiliness and just to remove any dirt or anything like that, I'll be cleansing with a cleansing milk and this VLCC cleansing milk is very good it just uh, cleanses our face pretty well and removes all the dirt which is very important uh, to do before applying makeup and then the what I'm gonna do is I'll be applying a moisturizer and again this is a moisturizer from VLCC it's a honey moisturizer and the best thing I like about this moisturizer is that it is not oily at all and at the same time it is pretty hydrating so I'll be massaging it into my face very well so well hydrated and moisturizer moisturized face uh, is will be good to apply makeup and then for sunscreen I'll be using Lotus uh, sunscreen it is the best sunscreen I have ever used it's my favorite sunscreen that why because first uh, it is not oily at all it is matte and finish and second thing is that uh, it doesn't leave a white cast which is something uh, most of the sunscreen does so I do not like that white cast on my face so this Lotus sunscreen is very good in that terms and uh, it does its job it has got SPS SPF 50 which is great and it's a good sunscreen and the very first color bar product I'll be using is this primer and I think this primer has been in market for a very long time it is transparent and uh, it's in uh, it's very smooth actually once we apply to our face it uh, it just glides on very well and uh, it uh, smooths out our face very well which helps the makeup to glide on very easily and also it kind of blurs of the pores obviously it's not gonna um, like fill in all the pores nothing like that it's just kind of blurs of the pores which is great and it definitely holds holds the makeup um, uh, for longer time so I like this primer mm, I think uh, blue heaven primer is a dupe for this which is good I do not have um, this color bar primer actually I didn't get it because uh, it is not gonna suit me it has just three shades and uh, uh, that uh, darkest shade wouldn't suit me at all that's a main problem even though color bar is an Indian brand still it doesn't uh, cater any makeup product for dusky and deeper skin tone which is sad actually so here I have taken LA Pro concealer and I'm gonna conceal areas my problem problematic areas like um, um, dark spots um, which is due to the pimples and also uh, I'll be applying a little bit of concealer this concealer to eyelids as well as under to my eyes and I'll be blending with my fingers itself this is a great concealer first of all it has got a lot of shades so we dusky and deeper skin tone do not have a problem finding a good match for us and also it blends in very well next I'll be using color bar um, this uh compact powder and again this is the darkest shade and shade name is tan and as you as you guys can clearly see it is a bit lighter to my skin tone so darkest shade is not even the darkest shade is not suiting me it is a bit lighter to my skin tone which is uh, which definitely is very um, i mean what to say it is very sad thing <coughs> but uh, i'm just applying it all to my face it is a good compact powder it uh, mattifies our face but it doesn't have shade range for dusky and deeper skin tone and then i'll be using this kajal pencil it's a very good jet black kajal pencil it, it, its pigmentation is great with one swipe itself one stroke itself it gives that pigmentation which is great actually <coughs> and it says that it is smudge proof and waterproof and uh, it is 
obviously not 100% smudge proof and waterproof but it's okay it's not gonna smudge up very easily so now I'll be applying this kajal to my waterline and also um, below my lash line as well and also I'm tight lining and little bit of kajal I'll be applying little bit of kajal to my upper lash line and just uh, blending it using my fingers itself just uh, to give a light smoky eye effect that's it very simple kajal look basic kajal look and um, I'll be doing the same to other eye as well as you guys can see uh, it blends in very well I mean like it's easy to smudge so it's very smooth as a kajal it works pretty well now I'll be using the same compact powder and apply it applying it under to my eye so that um, this kajal doesn't smudge off easily so it's a trick you can uh, do if you want your kajal to stay longer just apply this compact powder any compact powder under to the lash lash line so that the kajal doesn't smudge off then I'll be using this uh, liquid liner and uh, as you guys can see it is jet black and a uh, little bit of that liner went to my eyes that that was the expression <laughs> so i'm sorry and uh, i'll be drawing a very uh, easy and simple wing liner so i've started with the wing i'll be applying a wing and then i'll be um, extending it and also from the middle i'll be applying a line and then joining it so it's all up to you guys uh, in, you can uh, go ahead and uh, draw wing liner in the way you prefer so uh, about this liner it's jet black it is uh, very much pigmented and one thing i do not like about uh, this uh, liner is that uh, it's brush it is very stiff it's like a um, felt tip liner brush actually it is little harder than felt tip liner brush which is something i do not like some people say that this is best for beginners but i do not feel that it would be good for beginners because uh, I myself find it very difficult to apply a uh, wing liner with this brush because uh, because as you guys know I I'm a fan of wing liner I do wing liner all the time but still I find it difficult so I don't think it would be best for uh, beginners so I do not like this brush at all but the liner is good and uh, I have applied color bar nail paint uh, which is great for dusky skin tone this nail paint is again um, good quality nail paint and it does last for good uh, three to five days which is good and uh, it, it as I said it is good for dusky skin tone as well which is great even deeper skin tone also can try this nail paint now I have already drawn a wing liner on both my eyes and as you guys have already seen it, it's a good liner actually I'm um, actually I like this liner uh, this liquid liner but I'm not a great fan of this kind of brush and that's it and since I didn't had mascara I'll be using the same um, liner as a uh, liquid liner to my eyelashes and uh, using it as mascara and then I'll be applying a small bindi um, with the same liquid liner very small bindi uh, I I'm going for a very simple uh, ethnic look now I'll be uh, applying a lipstick for lipstick I'll be using this color bar lipstick and it's matte proper matte and I love its shade it's a nice peachy uh, pinky shade uh, and this bright shade is gonna suit all skin tone even dusky skin tone it's gonna brighten up our skin tone which is great actually so uh, I have applied it all over my uh, lips and as you guys can see it is matte and finish and it does last for a good uh, 3 to 4 hours after that it just fades off and it uh, uh, leaves a tint, tint even after fading off which is good actually. So I have applied this lipstick and uh, I, I like this lipstick. I'm I'm kind of liking it and the next time we'll be applying this color bar Sindoor and uh, it is great product for 125 yeah, rupees it is good actually I like it and uh, all in all um, I like color bar products quality is good I wouldn't say it is worth for the money it is a little bit on expensive side and I'm very very disappointed with the shade range they have I didn't buy foundation because uh, again shade range is very 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 poor so one thing I I don't know why this Indian brands uh, do this they know we have wide variety of shades um, from fair to medium to dusky to deeper skin tone I don't know why still they uh, ignore us I really hope they come up with more shades 
so that's it guys that was my that was my review and uh, makeup look i really hope this video has been helpful for you all if so please to give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already see you very soon in my next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all